week eight accounting 201 introduction video for the classes of October 19th and 21. Hello everybody, Professor Hassey. <clears throat> it's Sunday, October 18th. And I know a lot of you are still working on your uh, exam one. You've probably already noticed that questions three and four are repeated. That's a little gift to me, to you. So the same answer for each one will be suffice. Uh, so we get a little extra credit there for a couple of points. Um, this week, we're talking about retail accounting. Uh, chapter chapter five, uh, we'll be reviewing some questions on page 247 and a problem on page 255. Here is a brief a video introducing the main uh, difference between retail accounting and the accounting that we've been doing thus far, which is mainly for consulting firms, uh, types of businesses uh, that produce uh, products uh, or services. This is for retail, where you have to keep track of inventory. That's the main difference. And here's a little video explaining that.
Okay, that was a good video explaining how uh, the purchase of merchandise for the for one company and then the selling of the merchandise uh, for the company on both sides of which company is either buying the merchandise or selling the merchandise. And notice the inventory account now is used plus a, a couple of our new accounts, sales returns, purchase uh, cash account, cost of goods sold. So a couple new things. We need to review that. That's what chapter five is all about. In week number uh, eight, chapter five, there's a description of merchandising accounting, uh, how the flow works that we just talked about in this video. And we'll review it in our problems uh, from questions one to 10 on page 247 and problem 51A on page 255. We'll review that this week in class. Also, we'll take a look at the examination number one, uh, review that, and the midterm grades will be posted this week. The grades, uh, your, your grade uh, exam number one is due this evening, uh, October 18th. Please make sure you post it. And please make sure after you post it, you go to the student discussion forum and post the your paper selection company. Uh, each student should, so we don't have duplicate companies being done by our students. Uh, notice this is how some of the students have already posted, giving the name of their companies so we don't have any duplicates in our paper. So make sure you do that so we're all aware of our uh, companies we're using so we have no duplications in papers. So that'll be great. So we'll get exam number one posted this evening and we'll see you all in class tomorrow morning at 9.25 for chapter five, retail accounting. Thanks everybody.